All right, next up we got what's bound to be my favorite. <laughs> Peacock, the zoner. Sells it, ranged attacks, run away, and just generally being obnoxious. Great. Judicious, ju yeah, judicious use of teleports. J Heavy Punch, J Heavy Kick, and Heavy Punch. Shadow of Impending Doom will help her get away from anyone bearing down on her so she can pepper them, project us from afar. If you find yourself unable to get away, you can always push your opponent away with their Argonus Agony Argonus. Argus Agony Blockbuster Attack. The key to winning with Peacock is knowing how to keep your distance and what to do if you lose it. Don't be afraid to run out the clock. Your opponent may not care for this, but it's a perfectly viable strategy. You'll know you've got the hang of Peacock's playstyle when you've dropped every one of her 30-odd items on your opponents in battle. 30? Damn! Alright, so Shadow of Impending Doom. Random summon. Oh, my bad. Oh, so the longer you hold it, you get... A different one. And there's an exclamation point each time it powers up. So boom. Oh shit. So first it's just a bowling ball. Or I guess that's... That means it's just... Okay, so that's a random one. And it's just a bunch of random small items. And then you power it up. So now that's, I guess, always that dude. And then after that, I assume it powers up to the... Piano. Can it get bigger? Oh, Jesus, that's an elephant. <laughs> well, alrighty then. Oh, okay, this is the same thing, just at a different distance. That is a refrigerator. Alright, so each one of them has a variety of different items that it can pull from for a pool. I wonder if you can use bomb setups to hit those multiple times. I mean, I have to assume you can. Jesus Christ, of course they're called George. Oh, that's cool. Oh, and you can cancel them into each other. Alright. She takes a lot more damage. So she must be part of her own little... I mean, that has, that's, that's some very Mafia-esque things going on right there. So I have to assume she's part of her own little gang. Although she was part of that lab in, uh, what's it called? In Big Bands story mode. Oh, bang. Boom. Argus Agony is the backwards. No. All right. Wow, her dash sucks. Oops. 
It seems like it puts her a little bit further into the air. Yeah, 100%. Oops. Maybe not. Okay, I think that's what I want to do. Yeah, I need to get a little bit of forward momentum first. I'm canceling the dash too soon. Okay, I got here. Oh, I see. That'll kick them far away for that to hit. Alright, alright. And then... appreciate like you just don't appreciate it enough and so you have to deal with this all over with something like this all over again is like in Unist for instance they always start you exactly where you need to be spacing wise in order to start the combo of the particular trial you're on whereas with this one obviously that's not it and Peacock has a again a, just not a good dash and so when you have to reset over and over and over to do this so many times. It's just, it's so irritating. So once again, shout out to the makers of Unist. French bread. Y'all are awesome. Every fighting game developer could learn a thing or two from you. Fuck, I gotta dash more than that. I gotta dash sooner than that in order to allow me to even do that in the first place. I just pretended like that time I had to do normal records and I just did quarter circle forward for every single damn motion. I just kept doing quarter circle forward buttons <laughs> until the fucking combo was over. <laughs> Alright. Whoa. Interesting. So she can actually go into... What the... F I guess it's character specific. I was just... So I'm actually kind of doing these... Um, kind of sequentially. I'm doing like two characters at a time based. And so I did Philia and then I did Misfortune. And now I'm doing uh, Peacock. I did Cerebella first, and now I'm doing Peacock. And so I just talked about how it was throwing me off that Cerebella can't go like with a medium button into another medium button. She couldn't do medium punch and a crouching medium punch, or medium kick and a crouching medium kick, or any combination of those four buttons. And now all of a sudden, oh, he okay, so she can't do, but that does work. So she can go from medium punch into medium kick, either versions of the medium kick, but she cannot go from medium kick to medium punch, all right. 
Interesting. So Shadow of Impending Doom, Heavy Punch, Dash. I did com I think that combo. It looked like it said four hits. So air dash. Boom boom. Boom. Just a moment. That continuing sound effect was not this just continuing to fall forever because it never actually managed to fall. That was my hopes and dreams crashing and burning to the ground. Fuck this character. Fuck this trial. As if I didn't already hate a zoner enough. You gotta give her a combo like this. I actually took my damn headphones off because I was so sick of the sound effects in this character's voice. Oh. Oh my god, is that it? Damn it! Oh, what the fuck is Lonesome Lenny? Oh. Oh god, you're miserable as me. I'm doing the wrong, I'm doing the wrong command. Okay, this combo is actually not that hard. But yeah, it looks like it barely pushes me back far enough before the um the bomb blows. Looks like, I, or maybe if I do Argus Agony, it gives me a little bit of invulnerability. One of the two. Something like that. So I guess it's because, is, didn't they say, is the bang hit invul or something like that? That's really, that's very strange. Alright. Thank God that's over. <laughs> I'm very happy that that's over.